what a performance by Ollie Watkins. With Gareth Southgate watching, Watkins showcased his talent with an electric hat trick, solidifying his case for an England call-up. Aston Villa's partnership with Unai Emery seems to be paying off, as Watkins has been in top form since Emery's arrival 11 months ago. In fact, Emery's confidence in Watkins was so strong that he allowed their top scorer Danny Ings to leave in January. Many questioned this decision, but Watkins quickly proved himself with 11 goals in 12 league games. And now, with 16 Premier League strikes this season and a standout performance in front of the England manager, Watkins may have just rediscovered his rhythm at the perfect moment. It has been a while since Watkins last represented England, with his last cap coming in March 2022. But with upcoming friendlies against Australia and a Euro 2023 qualifier against Italy, the timing couldn't be better for Watkins to make his return. With Callum Wilson and Ivan Tony unavailable, Watkins seems like the obvious choice to fill the void. The fans at Villa Park certainly believe in him, as they chanted his name throughout the game against Brighton. Speaking of the game, Aston Villa's dominance was undeniable. For the 10th consecutive Premier League match, Emery's team came out on top. Brighton had no answer for Villa's attacking prowess, with Watkins scoring a double and an own goal adding to their misery. Brighton managed to pull one back early in the second half, but Watkins quickly responded with his 50th goal for Villa. Jacob Ramsey and Douglas Louise also got on the score sheet, sealing a resounding 6-1 victory for Villa. It's been over three decades since Villa had such a successful streak at home, and while repeating their second-place finish from 1989-90 to may be unlikely, their performance against Brighton was certainly a statement. Brighton, known for their strong midfield play, were completely disrupted by Watkins, Musa Diaby, and Louise. Villa's clinical finishing and incisive attacks left Brighton helpless. The first goal came from some impressive interplay on the left, with Watkins finishing off a square ball from Matty Cash. Watkins then showcased his individual brilliance, dispossessing Joel Veltman and placing a low shot into the near corner. Dilla's third goal was a stroke of luck, with an own goal from Purvis Estupinen. Despite VAR checks, Dilla came out on top in both instances. Brighton attempted a comeback with a triple substitution at halftime, but Emery quickly regained control. Their high-risk approach left them vulnerable, and Villa took full advantage. Everything seemed to fall into place for Emery's team, making it a dream day for the manager. With performances like this, it's hard to deny Ollie Watkins a return to the England national team. His goal-scoring prowess and ability to disrupt opposition defences make him a valuable asset. Will Southgate give him the call-up he deserves? Only time will tell.